Hi, we're here for 101 on cooking paninis. We got our nice grill here. It has no on or off button, so you plug it in and it turns off. We're also missing the griddle that we thought we were getting, so we're not going to do any griddles with eggs. Um, so we're just going to be grilling. We got the avocado spray here, so we'll just spread this on. start with our meat today. This is some meat that we picked up at Costco. I believe it's hero meat or gyro meat or euro meat. Uh, it's lamb and beef. So we're gonna put this on. We have our griddle open full so we can do twice as much. Uh, and you can also do it as a press which you can uh, fold it over on itself and press the meat or bread. cooked meat so it's somewhat brown and tenderized. Uh, we'll flip the meat here shortly. Look at it go. We might be here for a while when it sizzle. And we have put our tea upright to a closed and stem and holding down and it's slow cooking. We do have grill marks, but it's slow cooking. Look we've gotten so far. I'm making more mess. Uh, so it's a little Pattern areas, or it's not as white. You are getting grill marks, but we need to have the grill on top of it to press it down to get some color. We're cooking the rest in the uh, air fryer over there. Um, yeah, it's slowly, it's a slow cooker on uh, getting stuff done. Looks like I might make nice and grill marks on your pea bread. Um, overall, it is slower than I would have thought. I'm put this up and make more of a mess. Just know if you do put oil on this and you do put it up, the uh, oil catcher does not catch it. It misses it completely. So like a small flaw on their part of making the oil tray too small for when you flip it up right or lay it flat. So I made a mess on the back side here, just full of oil. Full of oil. I need to clean it up later. So we have our Kambetta bread. And we're going to put some butter on the outside of this, on both sides, so the outside gets nice and toasty. So this is very smooth butter with a Called what? Pap, pap base uh, made with avocado. I never had it before, so we're gonna try it out. But it's uh, super spreadable. So that's what it looks like. It's very soft. Uh, has been sitting out long. It's been in the refrigerator, well, refrigerator, so it's not super hard like a lot of avocados are. So I'm gonna spread this on the outside so I can get a nice. Uh, browning and glazing on the outside. And I'm going to just put this on the grill. Um, Power up to the side, I'll put on the grill and bitter. And I will do two of these. And it looks like our meat might be done for the uh, air fryer. Now we're gonna put this away, and now we're gonna put olive oil and mayo on the inside of the bread. And we have craft mayo with olive oil. And now we're gonna take the same bread that we just did, 
What is it inside? and let it lather up with the mayo and we're back so we made some butter on the inside or outside and put some uh, mayo on the inside we did this for another set as well we also cooked uh, our meat which is can be found in Costco it looks like this uh, there's two bags um, so it's lamb and beef uh, um, hero slices so we did some on the grill, and we also did some in the air fryer, just to see what the difference was. We kind of like the grill better because it has that nice crispy taste to it, uh, which the air fryer does not provide. Uh, so we're gonna first take our, some tomatoes and put some tomatoes on our base. And I'm just gonna take a few of these. Just gonna put it down. Provolone, or do you want cheddar? Let's do provolone. Provolone down, and then we're gonna put some meat on top of it. So, put a few of these in here. You can go to dinner if you want. Uh, these are kind of not flat, so. We'll our best. Uh, some are very uneven. All right. And then we're going to do some spinach and arugula. opened our grill. Our grill does not fit ciabatta bread with large stuffing. We had to really push and squish it around and push and pot all that good stuff. Looks like we have a good press after spinning 10 minutes to try and make it look proper. So we have some quality looking melty cheese in there. sizzling and melted. Looks pretty good. Took a little while but we'll try another round uh, and see if we can make it better. So we're gonna cut the bread. Let's try like ones or diagonal ones. 
Pretty good to me. Too tasty. Mm. 